What's up guys, Josh here at Fortner's Frontier Leather. When it comes to prepare, uh, preparing, uh, prepping, whatever you want to call it, uh, everybody's all into the pew 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 stuff. Uh, but if you got the ability to make holes in people and you don't have the ability to uh, plug up holes in yourself and to fix yourself and your buddies, you're wrong. So today we're going to talk about medical kits and uh, we're going to go through one that I have and see what's inside. So we have uh, multiple kits here. I have several kits all around the place uh, for different purposes. I got first uh, this little first aid kit, you know, little Walmart brand one, uh, or not brand, but came from Walmart. Just out here in the shed in case I cut my finger and stuff. Uh, I also have a Bear Fact from Bear Independent, uh, his uh, name brand uh, IFAC, and we will talk about that one day as well. Uh, but the one we're going to talk about today is the Solo Kit from MyMedic.com. Um, I really like this little kit. I keep it on my backpack, uh, my EDC pack that I carry around all the time. And uh, I want to go through it today and show you what's inside. So it's really good quality um, bag right off the bat. Um, it's got the uh, MyMedic logo patch on the front. Uh, if we're talking about an SHTF situation, I'm going out on a patrol or, so, or a security patrol or something like that. Honestly, I'm going to take that thing off. It's not necessary. And I might, uh, with a, a black uh, Sharpie or something, put a little cross on there to indicate that this is my medical kit. Uh, so that's cool, but uh, not my thing. Uh, I don't want it on there. Uh, not that I don't like the company because I do I just don't want all those different colors so you unzip it it opens up nicely I actually kept mine on the side of my I have one on the side of my plate carrier so if I need to get to it I can just open it up and reach in here and pull out what I need so in the front here we have some uh, some trauma shears uh, some little uh, what do you call them? You might know the correct name for them, but uh, just little metal tweezers. Something in here that I thought was kind of odd, but uh, I guess it you know, could be uh, useful if you're trapped or something and you need some help. But it's got a little survival whistle, and it's extremely freaking loud. I did not blow in it that hard just then because it would probably blow my speakers out on my, or my mic out on my phone. Uh, so in the back pouch here, we have a chest seal. Uh, good for patching up holes if you got a sucking chest wound. Um, some quick clot, great to have. Uh, stopping all that bleeding. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. A tourniquet, a rat's tourniquet. Now, I, what I will say with this, get it out of this pack because when you need a tourniquet, you need it right then. Uh, you don't want to have to be opening crap up. Uh, keep it open. And uh, so you can get to it quickly. And the other, I think that's all in this pouch. And this side, we have some gloves, some super skin. It's like a like a bandage. Um, in here, we have sodium chloride. Uh, I guess like a, like a saline. Uh, you can flush stuff out. Uh, some more bandages, band-aids, and, and things like that in this in this little baggie. Sting relief for insect bites and insect stings. Uh, some hand wipes. Kills 99.99% of germs. Rich with aloe vera. Uh, see, we have some medication here. Ibuprofen uh, and things like that. Uh, pretty nice to have. Uh, if you're ever in the military, I know the Marine Corps, Navy Corpsman, that's what they'll give you. Ibuprofen or take Motrin in water. You know, that'll fix everything. Uh, they got some, uh, looks like some 550 cord uh, type stuff. Uh, that'd be good, I guess, if you're, uh, you know, want to rig up some sort of uh, uh, sling or something. To, if your arm's jacked up. So we got some lip balm, sunscreen, uh, hydrocortisone, some antibiotic cream. Let's see antiseptic towelettes, towelettes, towelettes. Uh, let's see, we got some, uh, two sterile devices, uh, not made with natural rubber latex. So, let's see, what, what, I can't tell what that other thing is in there. We'll open that up. Some gauze. Okay, I guess this is like a suture here. 
Um, let's put that back. We'll put that back up in a second. Uh, a nasopharyngeal airway. That'd be good if you want to open up somebody's airway. Uh, definitely need to get some. You need some training on this. Uh, don't be ramming stuff down in people if you don't know how to use it. And what do we have here? Some Steri strips. So good stuff to uh, you know stop some bleeding. Uh, some minor stuff as well as the major stuff with the quick clot and the uh, the chest seal for uh, closing up somebody's sucking chest wound and your uh, tourniquet. Now, one thing I would add to this is I would add another chest seal. If you have a hole in the front uh, and you have an exit wound in the back, well, you need to stick something on both of those uh, to to really seal that up. So. That is everything inside the uh, My Medic Solo Kit. Um, I like this little kit. Um, it could have a little bit more, um, but this is to be, you know, more compact. Uh, it does not have, you know, everything like a like a big IFAC like this would. But uh, it's a great thing to have. Uh, you can't. I just want to add this at the end here. You can't have enough tourniquets. I keep one strapped onto my rifle as well. Uh, I'll have one in my pocket, uh, and then also the one in this in this medical. Every medical kit I have has a tourniquet in it. Uh, when you need a tourniquet, you need it quick, so you can just rip this baby off of here and go. But uh, that my medic kit does come with one, um, so it's a good kit. I like it. I would just add another chest seal, and they would be good to go. Uh, which you can buy another chest seal from mymedic.com. Uh, you can also buy other medications to add to it uh, at this point in time I also have a uh, the one that I carry that's on my pack also has one of their um, cold and or their flu uh, med packs um, which comes with you know everything you might need to to get you through for a day or so um, if you got flu and cold symptoms so good pack I would recommend it um, 70 somewhere between 70 and 100 dollars I can't remember exactly how much it's somewhere right in there uh, medical kits are, are pretty high but um, What's your life worth? Can I, I can't put a value on it, uh, a, a cash money value. So it's worth it. I would definitely recommend it. I have four of those kits as well as three uh, bear facts from Bear Independent, which we will get into that another day. But that's it for the My Medic kit. Go grab your one. Uh, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more, be sure to hit like and subscribe and head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Fortner's Frontier Leather for more uh, exclusive content on self-reliance, preparedness, uh, leather working, all the things that uh, go around with that. So, stay self-reliant.